if you're getting back pain that just keeps on coming back and every time it comes back, it gets a little bit worse and it lasts a little bit longer. And you have these big fears that if I don't take care of this, this is going to stop me from doing life at all. And I'm be very fearful of moving wrong because it's going to come back again. If that is you, then this is the talk that you need to listen to. Today, we're going to talk about why this happens, the simplistic things that we do throughout the day that is creating some of our issues. We're going to talk about what that is, how to know what that is, and how to stop the reoccurring pain from happening, as well as what we can do to, to progress ourselves faster in this. So my name is Stephanie. I am the owner of Empower Physical Therapy, and we help chronic pain patients get their life back without being on medications, doing injections, or having to do, do go down the surgery route. This is what we do. We want to help you thrive, not just survive. And so one of the biggest things that we do in, in our office, when we see these clients, I mean, it's very debilitating. They want to live in their box. They don't want to like move the wrong way because they're so afraid that their pack pain is going to return. So it limits them in their activities, whether it's them wanting to play golf or go to the gym or play with their kids, because they know if they do one wrong move, they're going to be out for a day or a week or a month. And so this is what we want to combat. And it's really goes back down to the basics. Like it's one of the things, you know, in life in general, it's all about the basics, whether you want to lose weight, we all kind of know what we need to do, um, and losing weight, but, and it's very basic stuff. It's basic of like, you know, we know we need to eat fruits and vegetables and we know we need to exercise and we know we need to drink water, but we don't do it. But if we do the basics consistently, we get results with anything, whether that's like finances, health, um, you know, fitness, whatever it is, the consistency is key. And so the same thing can happen where if you do the, the consistent things that are wrong, then you're also going to get a different result that you don't want. And that's kind of what happens is throughout the day of what we're doing in life, we're doing something consistently that is bringing on the pain, but no one in healthcare is going to talk about it. So you're consistently, you could be sitting in front of a computer and you're always in a bent forward position, or you're always rotating and looking to one side. So if I'm always rotated here, and this is what I'm doing as I'm typing, you're going to have issues in your back. You'll have issues in your neck um, because you're doing that day in and day out for so many hours. And so we, what we do at our office is we bring a, a awareness around those things. But how can you bring awareness around those things? So you have to start asking yourself some questions. And some of the questions will be like, these are things that we ask our, our clients all the time. So give me some things that make you feel better. Start making your list. This makes me feel better. This makes my back pain feel better. This, you know, just make that list. Don't even think about it. Just be like, yes, that makes me feel better. So is it Walking makes me feel better. Sitting makes me feel better. But if I stand up, I don't, you know, it, it, I definitely don't feel better doing that. If I, um, it could be, you know, swimming makes me feel better. It could be movement makes me feel better. Um, you know, whatever it is, it could be lying down in a certain position makes me feel better. So think about what those are, because what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of that to see, is there a common pattern that you're moving in? And we're going to explain that here in a second. So the second part to that question is, what are things that make me feel worse? If I do this, I feel worse. It could be bending. It could be sitting in a couch for long periods of time. It could be cleaning the house. It could be doing yard work. It could be, um, it could be walking, you know, whatever it is, write down all the things that when I do this, I know that I'm going to feel worse. It's, it's not going to make me feel good. So then you go and you look at your lists and what we're looking for are, what are the commonalities in your positions? So I'm going to give you, you know, common things that we see in our office for back pain. It's not everyone, but it's very common. So it could be, man, when I lie on my back, I feel better. When I walk, I feel better. When I move, I feel better. You know, maybe in the morning I'm kind of stiff, but as the day goes on, I feel better. So those are common things that you'll see. And so when you look at it, like, okay, lying down flat, well, my back is a little bit more extended when I do that. When I walk little bit, when you walk, your hips are moving and you're getting little mini extensions in your back. So you're like, Ooh, my back likes extension. So then you start noticing like, well, I need to do more of this. And if it likes extension, 
then I need to avoid the things that don't make it feel good. So then go to that list. So if we go to that list and you're starting to see like, yeah, when I, when I clean, um, the floor, when I am doing yard work, when I'm sitting in front of the computer or I'm in a couch position, um, when I'm bent over, these are all things that make me feel worse. So what are you doing? You're in that bent forward position. So this is when we have to give you awareness around, okay, so we've got to modify some of these positions that make you feel worse. So if it's your, it's the, the bending is that, that makes us feel worse. And we've got to limit doing that because if we don't limit the activities that make us feel worse, that's big part of why it keeps on reoccurring, but no one in our healthcare system will go into that. So it's kind of like you have a wound on your arm and you're stabbing the wound. You just keep on stabbing it. And then you stop stabbing it. And then you stab it again. And then you stop stabbing it. And so you're wondering, like, I don't understand why this wound's not getting better because you keep on stabbing it. So your activities throughout the day is like you stabbing the wound. So we have to modify some of those. So if you have a sitting job, we've got to modify how you sit. Maybe we get you a standing desk. Maybe you put some support behind your back so that you are, you know, more supported and the spine's in a better position. You're going to limit the bending forward for a short period of time, not forever, just so we can allow things to heal. And then if it's the extension based exercises that make us feel better by our activity, when we're asking questions, you're going to move into that a little bit more. So maybe you're going to be start doing some, you know, mini back bends, you know, maybe you're going to start doing some press ups, you know, where you're on your stomach and your hands are by your, by your shoulders and you press up and you arch backwards. Um, you're going to start doing more of those things throughout the day. Like every two or three hours, you want to incorporate that throughout the day. Cause if you don't do that, you will, start noticing that your pain slowly come, comes back. And so that's how we can kind of get over it. So that's the big thing on how we stop it and how we know how to stop it is you just have to ask your questions, you know, what makes it better, make your list, what makes it worse make your list and see what the commonalities are in the positions that you're in, because it's going to give you indications on what you need to do, um, what you need to avoid and what you need to do more of. So what are some ways that we can progress this faster? So the biggest thing that I see, you know, we have, um, different eBooks out there that are for like, you know, how to, to get, um, you feeling better, faster with your back, with your neck, with your shoulder, whatever that's all on our website on, um, on what we can kind of treat. And so we have a lot of really good education around there, but, and it helps, but if you want to get there faster, the biggest way to do that is really getting to a place that can do some hands-on therapy that understands not massage. Massage is not always the, the first place that you need to go to. Now, if you do, it's totally fine. But if your symptoms come right back again, pretty quickly, it's because you're treating a symptom. You need to get to someone that understands like the body to get the joints to kind of start moving and teach you like, oh, this is the specific section that we need to go to, to help you progress faster. Cause maybe it's your lower thoracic spine. That's not moving. And that's creating pain into your back. Maybe it's your hip. Um, maybe there is something going on in your back that needs, that needs to be addressed. But when you can get to someone that understands all of that and can go and do manual work, the speed of recovery is going to be so much faster. And then they're going to be able to give you specific exercises to you, which may be different. We might be able to progress you faster compared to someone else, or maybe we have to back it down based on how your body responds. There's so many variables to what we give you. So if you're noticing like, wow, this is, this is helping me, but it's not I'm not fully getting there, then we're going to have to progress you, but it's going to be easier for you to come in and see someone that actually specializes in this to really help guide you. We literally have had clients that have come in with stenosis and they've had it for 20 years. We're told them that there's nothing that they could do. And if we would have given them our normal stenosis exercise, which you've seen in other videos where we stand up against the counter and bend and bend backwards, if we would have given them that, they would have been like, nope, this hurts, not going to do it they couldn't tolerate that. We actually had to, had to take a step down and accommodate them from being so flexed forward by putting them underneath pillows where their stomach had pillows underneath it. And they were lying on their stomach with some pillows. So we could allow things to kind of calm, calm them down and then slowly bring them into extension. But as, as we did that, her symptoms in her leg went away, her back pain went away. And literally it was the first time that she didn't have symptoms 
and being in any kind of position in 20 years. And so this is where, when you can really get to someone that understands what's going on, they're going to be able to tailor it a little bit more to you. We had another guy that had huge herniation, 10 millimeter herniation. And if he would have gone through some of the exercises that we would have done in our, in our, um, ebook, or even on some of our videos, there's no way he would have tolerated it. But a month later, after us guiding him through, then he could get to some of those exercises, but we guided him through that process. A month later, he's like with his family actually enjoying life for the first time in, in six months because he was on, on the path of, of potentially having to have surgery, but we were able to avoid it for him in literally four weeks, four visits that he was 80% better in four visits. That's, that's how much it, it can help you when you can get to someone that actually understands what's going on. They're going to be able to guide you through that process and, and help you so much quicker. So if you've liked what you've heard and you, you know, want to learn more, we put out content all the time. So we, I have a book that just came out and, um, the link to that's in the description. So you can check that out. There's a lot of bonuses with that book, a lot of, um, good, good resources, um, you, that you can order it on Amazon and it's basically inspiring hope. That's what we do. We want to give you hope that it's possible that your body can, can heal. And it's a secret guide to hitting pain from all angles, because if you don't get to the source of what it is, um, then you're just treating a symptom. And that's what we do in this met in the medical system. So it's how we a guide to how we can hit pain from all angles to basically get back to living life. We also have our resources on, um, um, on back pain. So you can get our, our ebook that we've created. And um, we have courses that we've created. Um, all those are resources that you can have. If you go into the description and make sure you subscribe to our channel as well, because we put out content all the time.